Oi, pessoas, tudo bem com vocês? Então, hoje eu vou falar sobre palavras. São palavras. Let's have a look. I'm freaking confused. Hoje eu vou falar sobre palavras que são difíceis. 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 Like that one. Para mim pronunciar. Uh, like tudo em português. Tudo palavra em português. Antes de começar, se inscreve no meu canal. Falei com Jake. Dá um like. Uh, que mais? What else? Um, follow me on Instagram. Me siga no Instagram. I don't even know that's right. Anyway, so this is gonna be the words that are difficult in Portuguese for me. Yeah, so just the words that I find difficult. So these are not like the long words like or something like that. Not, not words like that. This is like real words, yeah? Because that's not a real word. These are like everyday words. Like words that are appearing in my lessons that I'm always struggling to get right. Like sometimes I'll get them right five times in a row then I always say it wrong eventually. I just can't seem to perfect it. So, I have like 13 words I'm going to talk about today. So, primero, primera, primera palabra. Amanya, 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 amanya. This one is so simple yet so difficult because I keep getting it wrong even though I know how I should say it. So it's like when I get comfortable and I talk, say this word in a sentence, I'll just say amanya. It's like, that's not right. It has to be amanya. 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 This is strange because not many words in English have this like emphasis on the end of the word. Um, so I think it seems like very unnatural for me as an English speaker to say this, um, amanya. And especially with a little bit of nasal sound as well. So yeah, this one is always that, that simple word that confuses me simple to pronounce really um, once you understand it okay so segundo palavra palavra segundo palavra and this is simple as well i know why i keep mistaking it let me tell you outros and outras now for some reason i can say the masculine version better than i can say the feminine version So I know why this word is difficult, because in English we say out. So for, uh, when I see this word, I want to say out, outros, outros, but it's outros. I think it's outros, <laughs> I hope it's outros. So I can say outras, outros, and then outras. Every time it comes to feminine, I say out again, so outras, outras. But for some reason, I always want to say out. Outras. Outro. Outra. Outro. 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 No, outro. Outro. Outra. Outra. No, outro. Outra. But you understand me. Anyway. Proximo palavra. Oh, yeah. Capelele. Capeleleiro. 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 This one is muito difícil. It's like a tongue twister. Travas linguas. I was in a lesson and this word came up and I was just very difficult for me. And then everyone told me that it's actually a meme. So yeah, apparently I found a meme. So yeah, apparently other, other Brazilians also struggle with this word. So I'm not too worried about that word um, because it is quite a difficult one. Um, it's not something that I should worry about too much. Next, proximo. Areia, areia. But I always say areia for some reason. It's something about the R word in Portuguese because it confuses me. Sometimes I do, I want to do like areira, areira. And then the other times I need to say areira. So it confuses me. Let me just Google translate that one. Areia. Areia, not areira. I keep saying areira for some reason. So yes, areia, not areira. It's annoying. Next one. This one's stupid, really. Like, I, I didn't even know I said this wrong. And then, well. Inglaterra? Yeah. Um, so, Inglaterra. Why, why do I say it like that? Why am I doing that? It's just wrong. It's not right. Inglaterra. 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 
easy. I don't know why, I just want to do this ra thing. And it's funny because with the last word, aheira, yeah, and I say it like areira, as if it was two hours. And then ingraterha, I say it like it was one hour. Obviously, I'm getting things confused. Ingraterha, ingraterha, that's how I should say it. For some reason, I keep saying ingraterha. So, yeah, it's a bit annoying. That's also another annoying word on my list that I must remember to pronounce correctly. Proximo palabra. Forno. It's gonna go in the forno. 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 Like I just want to say forno in English. Forno. Forno. Even like even if I get the N-O correctly like the forno, I still don't do the R right. So it's like forno. Forno. Then I forgot the F. Forno. Forno. Something like that. I keep getting it wrong for some reason. Forno. 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 Oh, no, you said like the dog, oh. But that's got an R in it. To me, that's got an R in it. Forno is like in English, porno. Like, that's how you say it. You just say porno. Like you don't go porno. In Portuguese, say <laughs> porno. Yeah, I think like a, yeah. Why, Tommy? It's a yeah, bloody nasty. English word. Porno is an English word. It's a word, porno. It's, it's in the dictionary. There's nothing wrong with the word porno. I mean, we're all adults here. Okay, so yeah, next one is more says. For some reason, I say it with a Z, for example, like in my last video, I did this. So it's turubem composeiza. Yeah, so it's a bit annoying. For says, simple really, I'll try to remember that one, but it's one. It's another one on the list that I'm sharing with you guys. For some reason, I always say it with a Z, for says, because I think I'm like trying to remind myself that it's plural. So in my mind, it's like, remember it's plural, remember to pronounce the S. And then I just pronounce it like a Z anyway. So that doesn't make much sense. It's a self reminder. I'm like, vos says. Yeah? I'm like, remember, I did say it correctly. Plural. So that's another one. I don't even want to say this next one. Because it just looks difficult. Yeah. That's it. So, yeah, this one, it just looks intimidating. I don't know why. Liquid is in the, in the English vocabulary. Ficador is not. To put those two words together, uh, it just doesn't work in my brain. Liquid ficador. Liquid g ficador. Because you've got to do the G in the middle. Liquid g ficador. Liquid g ficador. I think I got it. I think I got it now. I tried to cheat by saying processador. Apparently, it's not the same thing. I did do it in a cake video once. I was trying to learn with my tutor how to say things in, in my cake video. And... Yeah, I said it. We had this word liquidificador and I gave up because like in the middle of a sentence it was just like ruining the whole thing. So I just changed it to processador. It was easier for me. Nice facil. This one's another one that should be easy, but I keep messing it up. It's the two R's again. It's the two R's. Cachoeira. Is that right? You Google that. Cachoeiras. Cachoeiras. Not heiras. I say it like I put a H in there for some reason. Even if I don't do that, then I'll say cachoeiras, which is just completely wrong. I don't even think that word actually exists. Cachoeira, 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 cachoeiras, cachoeiras, cachoeiras. That's it. Okay, so in Portuguese, you pronounce R's like H, right? Heferi. If you if you were like a Portuguese speaker. As your first language and you're learning to speak English you most likely say heferi so you're pronouncing your R like a H now I don't know how this relates so yeah I think that every time I see a R I have to pronounce it like a H like I see the R and I think suddenly think H um, which is not the case Cachoeira is the way I should say it anyway let's move on Gilly hear me Gilly hear me we all know this one if you follow me on Instagram or even if you watch my previous videos, you know I struggle with it with this one. Gilihemi. It's again the H and R's in Portuguese are very confusing for me. Uh, Anjanaia. Anjananania. I don't know. I don't. I don't really understand that one. Like I would never have a child with this name because it'd just be very difficult for me. It made my life no very chance. difficult. No, never. No. In fact, I don't even want a friend with this name because I would just have to shorten it. So, sorry, but that's never going to happen. Next one is the obvious one. It's the original one. Senora and senora. Senora, 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 senora. 
Tara or Senor? I still get this confused, believe it or not. And don't worry, like, I understand the, the two different pronunciations. I do know it. It's just that my brain gets confused sometimes. I say the wrong one for the wrong thing. If I'm, if, if I'm like, talking in Portuguese, trying to talk in Portuguese, it's a good chance I'm going to say the wrong one. I'm going to say Senora for Cara and Senora for, for Mrs. <laughs> so that's still happening, but that's just a memory thing. That's not a pronunciation. I know how to pronounce the two. I just get them confused still. This one, like, it's a very common word to describe something that's excellent or amazing in Portuguese, especially in Brazil. I don't know if it's so popular in Portugal. I don't know. But when I watch a lot of um, Brazilian TV shows and films, they always use this word. Maravilosio. 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 And they say it so effort effortlessly. And it just annoys me because I can't get it right. I'm going to have to put it into Google Translate. Marvelous is marvelous in English. Marvelous in Portuguese. Maravilhoso. 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 It's the L H. Li. It's like Li. Difficult. It's difficult to say this as a, as an English speaker. But maravilhoso. 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 Nah, it sounds better. I just don't think I'm ever gonna get it. I just avoid that word. Use incrível. Incrível instead. Incrível. Incrível. Incredible. Ah, yeah. So this word, it's a bit random, but it kept coming up in my lesson. And I kept saying it wrong. Jeviga. 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 Jebaga. Slowly, basically. Jevagar, jevagar. Jeviga, Jevaga, Jevaga. And then when I say Jevaga, I don't pronounce the Vah enough. So Jevaga, Jevaga. Finally, this was li literally just today in the lesson I had before filming this video. I came across this word and I thought, there's another one. Urario. I think I got it right at that time. Urario. Urario. Yeah, it's the R thing again and the H again. I think it's, there's a common theme with these words. They always got a H and R in. Urario. Urario. I think that's all right now. Urario. 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 It's got the uh, thing on there. So that is the words that I found difficult. It's funny because a lot of people say that the nasal sounds are the most difficult in Portuguese, but I think that I learnt this quickly and I practice them as much as I could. So I got like pão, mão. I think I say them good. Right? If I don't, then put in the comments and tell me. Because I tried like a lot at the beginning, so I didn't want to get those words wrong. You know, I just didn't, boom, didn't want to say that wrong. So yeah, I I really like practice with those ones, and then now I'm just stuck with these H and R words. But yeah, I thought it was an interesting observation it, to share my personal words that I find difficult in Portuguese. It's it's an interesting observation. Uh, let me know what you find difficult to say in English. Post in the comments down below and tell me what words you find difficult in English. And maybe I can make a video um, trying to help you with those words or tell you some little secrets in pronouncing those words. I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Post in the comments or any feedback. Say inscribe on my channel, Fali Gomjik. Follow me on Instagram. That I'm likey. Don't forget to that I'm likey. Give us a like. Anyway, Ati Mai Sati Logo. Ciao. See you soon.